Hello and welcome back to my channel and to my Tesco value comparison video. So a few weeks ago I did my weekly Tesco food shop and I bought all their bottom priced items. So anything that used to be labelled as the value range, the very basics that I could get my hands on. I did the entire shop like that and I thought I'd come back, watch the video again with you guys and take you through my thoughts on different items and also add in a few clips of what the products actually looked like when I was using them or when I was cooking them because it's always nice to have a bit of a visual. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then make sure you keep watching. Fruit and veg wise, I don't think there's really anything to compare to unless you are buying the Tesco Finest lettuce, Tesco Finest cucumber, then generally everybody goes for the same kind of fruit and veg. The only thing is things like apples often tend to be a lot smaller if you buy the, I think they're Rose Dean Farms, but you can always just have a couple of them. They still work out really, really cheap sometimes. We do buy Pink Lady Apples because it is one of our favourites and they don't have their own version of that, but we always try and look for them on Club Card Deal. But fruit and veg, I have no issues with buying Tesco's own because it all comes from local growers anyway. So moving on to things like store cupboard items, egg noodles, again I don't buy Sharwoods or the like branded things because I don't really see any point, they taste exactly the same and they're probably manufactured in the same factory. The wafer thin chicken, no I would not buy this again and I was quite surprised because I have bought this before and we have liked it but it was slimy and it had a funny smell to it and it is not something that I will ever be picking up again. It just was not pleasant and I think this was probably the worst thing I bought out of everything. Soft cheese I only really use for cooking so it's perfect for that and it's a lot cheaper than your branded makes. Things like minced beef, you will always pay a little bit more to get the leaner cuts and the better quality meat, so this is definitely a personal preference. I find it okay, like if I'm dry frying it and I wanted to use it for a spaghetti or a chilli, as long as I drain the fat first, I don't really see any issue with it, it tastes fine. Same with burgers, it's actually good to have a little bit of extra fat if you're making homemade burgers. Cereal bars, snack bars, I find that if anything they're just a little bit smaller than you'd pay for a branded make but things like these Raisin crispy Slices, they're no different to the go ahead ones you buy and the granola bars are slightly smaller again than the Nature Valley ones but they are probably three times cheaper. Fish portions, this has to be one of my favourite purchases and definitely a repurchase item for me. I often serve them in buns or wraps instead of just on their own. They were white fish, it is pollock, but that's the same as what's in the ones I usually buy, which is a make called Young's. These only have 50% fish in, and I think the Tesco ones we looked had 55 or 56% fish. Highly recommend these. They're definitely on par with the Young's ones and contain more fish, so you cannot go wrong. And they work out about 80p, 85p cheaper for four, so quite a substantial saving. The chicken nuggets I have used in different clips in different videos, the boys like them, I've tried them, don't hate them. Somebody did point out in one of my comments on a video saying that, have I checked the meat content, apparently it's really really low, I can't remember how low it was but having looked at them again, yeah I can understand why, I mean it's 85p for 20 breaded chicken nuggets, so looking at the meat content and delving into the ingredients, I probably wouldn't buy them again. So the sausages I usually buy are a pound for 20 instead of 275 and what I do with those is throw the whole bag in the air fryer on a Friday night, put them in the fridge and then Saturday morning the boys usually get up and add mustard and ketchup to wraps and then pop two sausages in and put it in the microwave. Really quick and simple and definitely worth a pound. I pretty much always buy the Hearty Food Co chips. They're 99p and they taste just like oven chips, like any other bag, so I would buy those again. Cooking bacon was amazing, 75p. If you haven't watched my video on four budget recipes, then I'll leave that link down below. But this was so good. I got so many meals out of 75p's worth of bacon. I did go on about it a lot in that video. But if you want this for recipes and things, it's not great for sandwiches. It's not thinly cut and they are very like misshapen. But for the price, you can get a lot of meat and a lot of flavour for your money. Highly recommend this. And just have a sift through and make sure you don't get the ones with all the fat on. Peas are peas. I think 55p for frozen peas are fine. I generally put them in things anyway. Croquet potatoes, you can't go wrong at 90p for a bag. They're just like mashed potato in a crispy coating and they make a change from oven chips. The toilet tissue is one that 
I absolutely loved and it sounds silly but it was really nice looking so it had a nice pattern on it it wasn't scented but even though it was only two ply it was quite thick and I don't know I just think that compared to a lot of the two ply toilet tissue it was really good quality and because I have mine stacked on a shelf in the bathroom I like ones that don't look like value toilet rolls it sounds ridiculous but I know what I mean and I'm sure a lot of you do too the patterned ones always look nice on the shelf red leicester cheese was absolutely fine I think like I said we usually use things like this in baking or on top of pasta bakes and things or on a jacket potato so if you're doing that kind of thing it's fine if you were putting it on a cheese board then maybe you'd want to pay for a more expensive brand but I find for everyday use the cream fields is great I do buy the free range eggs anyway you can get value eggs that are from caged hens but I don't buy those ones so these are the cheapest free range they're £2.10 and I think you get 15 yeah you get 15 it says it on the box and I usually use them for scrambling or omelettes and they're perfectly fine now and again I do buy a more expensive box of six if I'm making scotch eggs just because I really like the golden yolk but these are absolutely fine the wraps I have decided to stick with every time I'm in Tesco because the whole meal and the white ones now seem to come out of the packet okay I did have issues with the white ones being stuck together and a lot of people said microwave them for a few seconds but I often only want to take one or two out of the freezer or I want to take one or two wraps out and if you microwave the whole lot then they go stale really quick but yeah I think for 85p for 8 it's a really good price because wraps are getting actually really expensive the spaghetti and the pasta they were okay they do take a lot longer to cook and the penne is smaller so it's quite a bit smaller than the like brand up and it stays quite al dente so if you're using it for a pasta bake it's probably quite good um, the spaghetti also is a little bit brown in colour but usually you're putting a sauce over it so it really doesn't matter too much the squash was okay it did have a little bit of a sweetener aftertaste which the brand up doesn't tend to have but if you dilute it quite a lot then you don't really notice but yeah it's definitely got that kind of sweetener taste to it you can taste the artificial sugar and I'm not so keen on that but in a pinch if you're thirsty then I really don't see a problem especially if you're diluting it a lot ketchup no complaints at all just tasted like tomato ketchup absolutely fine boys notice no different to our normal one that we buy the foam bath for the price was really good and I did decant it into my like more fancy jar in the bathroom. I wasn't a fan of the colour <laughs> in the bathroom, I usually have a white one but if they do do the cheap white version I would definitely buy it again. It's not as good in your bath, I mean Radox is only a pound so it's about 35p difference if you get it on offer and to be honest if I had the extra 35p then I would be buying Radox but if you want a bath foam and you don't want to spend out because you see it as a bit of a luxury then this one definitely works I also ran out of hand soap and put this in my hand soap dispenser as well so really versatile and good for 65p sandwich pickle absolutely fine boys have it in cheese and pickle sandwiches and it's no Branston but to be honest I don't think there's a massive difference I always buy this one unless Branston is on offer for the same price um, gravy granules they're not as good as the higher quality makes like Bisto and things but if you're using it for shepherd's pie or something absolutely fine the foil's rubbish don't ever buy the foil I cannot stress it enough you would not believe the mess I got in when I tried to open it it's more like kitchen paper it's so thin you lose one end of it and so you end up unraveling it around half the roll and this was just a waste of money it ended up going in the bin and I said that the chicken ham was my worst purchase. No, it was definitely the foil. I can feel the rage just watching this back. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Thick bleach is absolutely perfect. You can't really say a lot about bleach, to be honest. I know people market it with all different claims and things, but all bleach will kill bacteria and help to clean your toilet with a bit of elbow grease. The Glade is not necessarily one of the Tesco value products, but they didn't have any of their own spray, like air fresheners when I went in. For £1.25 I would buy this every time, it makes the whole bathroom smell amazing and that in turn makes the hallway smell amazing. The scent lasts for ages and it's not one that goes down your throat so I really recommend this one, it's one of my favourite scents now and it lasts for a really long time. So I would definitely pay out for this again. 
Salad cream we absolutely loved. I discussed it in the video, but this is on par nutrition wise with the Heinz version of their Be Good To Yourself or lower, whatever it is, lower calorie, lighter version. Um, and this is a lot cheaper at 48p. It tastes exactly the same in my opinion and we really, really like it and we'll definitely buy this one every time it is there in Tesco. The chocolate croissants my boys were eating quite often for breakfast and they had no complaints at these ones. 95p for eight and they're the same size as the like more expensive brand and they're just chocolate and pastry so you can't really go wrong. The bread, not for sandwiches, not in this house. Um, it's very, very small slices. I much prefer the wholemeal to the white. The wholemeal stayed very soft and had a really nice wholemeal flavor. The white was very hard and it went hard very quickly as soon as I'd used some. It was too small for sandwiches. Even when you toasted it, it was, I don't know, it just didn't really work. It had a funny taste to it. It almost had like a sweet taste. Um, so no, I wouldn't be buying the white bread again unless for like maybe for a toddler if you wanted to cut the crusts off or something and have a really small sandwich but it's not really big enough so it's like false economy because you're not getting as much as you would if you bought a bigger loaf anyway so no the white bread's not for me the wholemeal bread is and I would continue to buy that because it had a nice flavor and it stayed nice and fresh so it's funny how two things that are the exact same make the exact same product but slightly different version one I would buy again and one I wouldn't so the chocolate, I mean, it is not your like Cadbury's or Milky Bar. It does taste like cheap white chocolate, but at 30p a bar, it's perfect for cooking or baking or teenagers because they were absolutely thrilled with it. It still tastes like white chocolate, but again, it's the sweetener taste. I think a lot of the cheaper foods have that sweetener flavor, that aftertaste that you get, and I really don't like that. Some people don't mind it, so you might find it's okay. It's also quite hard. You know, like um, a Milky Bar melts in your mouth a little bit, and this one doesn't so much, but yeah, boys were happy with it, and for 30p I mean you can't really complain crisps again for 74p for six bags I would definitely buy them again crisps have gone through the roof lately and the offers are few and far between so these were very good the packets were a decent size they weren't all bits and pieces either so yeah I liked the crisps we were happy with those so our definite no products were the chicken sliced sandwich ham um, it was very slimy, it smelt funny and I would not buy that again. I would not buy the foil again because that's just false economy. You are wasting your time and your money. The white bread wasn't for us because we have big boys, big teenagers and you needed like six slices to make a sandwich and it had a funny sweet taste to it. I also wouldn't buy the chicken nuggets again even though the boys liked them. I thought they tasted okay and they're fine in like a curry or a wrap or something. Looking at the ingredients, I don't think I could consciously eat them knowing what goes into them. The fish, I would definitely buy again. That's one of my favorites and that just goes to show that you can't just go for the branded items because that's what you're used to. The toilet tissue, I was a real fan of for the price. It was two ply, but it didn't feel very thin and it also had a nice pattern for your bathroom. And the one I can't rave about enough is the cooking bacon. You have to try it. If you use bacon in cooking, you could put in quiches, make loaded skins like I did, risottos, really versatile and I think it was such a good price. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a like. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these foods yourself and if you agree with me or disagree with me. And let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing. And I will be back really, really soon with another video. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too